Okay, let's debunk the globe again. But we are going to do something significantly different this time. This is a picture of Mont Blanc at a distance of 122 miles from the Grignetta peak. The photographer was at a height of 7,142 feet, but you don't need to know that because the height of the observer is actually not important for this analysis, as we are not going to calculate the usual hidden amount. However, we are going to prove the flat Earth in a different manner. I hope you'll find this interesting. The peak immediately to the right of Mont Blanc is Grand Tournaline. Grand Tournaline was 82 miles from the observer at the Grignetta. Here's a picture from Beyond Horizons showing the applicable peaks which are in the circle at the bottom left. Here are two of my screenshots from Google Earth showing the distances. Also, the photographer included the same distances at Beyond Horizons. Mont Blanc has an actual elevation of 15,777 feet. On the other hand, Grand Tournaline is a shorter at an actual elevation of 11,086 feet. Mont Blanc is actually 4,691 feet taller than Grand Tournaline. But as you can see in the photo, Mont Blanc looks like it's slightly shorter than Grand Tournaline. Now I'm sure the globe zealots are screaming curvature right now, but let's ignore the lies and the spin. Does this photograph prove the alleged curvature of the Earth? The answer is no, not at all. In fact, this photograph proves the flat Earth as this photo is impossible under the globe model. But it requires once again an understanding of angular size, which is very often confused with the curvature of the Earth. Now, angular size refers to the object's apparent size, based on the distance from the observer. In other words, objects appear to get smaller as they get further away from the observer. This is obvious to even a child, and it's a mathematical certainty that can be computed with online calculators. We are talking about apparent size, not actual size. In the photo, Mont Blanc has a much larger actual height of 15,777 feet, while Grand Tourneline has an actual height of 11,086 feet. However, in the photo, Mont Blanc looks to be slightly smaller than Grand Tourneline. We must compare the angular sizes of both peaks, and we are going to compute the angular sizes for both peaks without considering the purported curvature of the Earth. Let's begin with Mont Blanc with a distance of 122 miles or 644,160 feet and an elevation of 15,777 feet, Mont Blanc has an angular size of 1.4032 degrees. Remember, this is all based on distances and sizes of the peaks. Grand Tourneline with an elevation of 11,086 feet at a distance of 82 miles or 432,960 feet has a slightly larger apparent or angular size of 1.467 degrees. Again, Mont Blanc has an angular size of 1.4032 degrees, and Grand Tourneline has a larger angular size of 1.467 degrees. In other words, on the flat Earth, Grand Tourneline should appear slightly larger than Mont Blanc, just as shown in this photograph. Flat Earth passes the angular size test for this photograph. But what would happen on a ball Earth? Undoubtedly, we must still calculate the angular size of both respective peaks as we just did for the flat Earth, but we must then include the drop of curvature in accordance with accepted globe dimensions. The distance from Grignetta, where the photographer was, to Mont Blanc is 122 miles. That's a curvature drop of 9,923 feet. The distance from Grignetta to the Grand Tourneline is 82 miles. That's a curvature drop of 4,483 feet. So then we subtract the two curvature drops to calculate the curvature drop from Grand Tourneline to Mont Blanc from the observer's point of view. That's a difference of 5,440 feet. Therefore, under the globe model, that means that the top of Mont Blanc would have dropped an additional 5,440 feet beyond Grand Tourneline and would then be only 10,337 feet tall with respect to the closer Grand Tourneline at 11,086 feet. 
Based only on the curvature drop, does it look like Grand Tourneline is 749 feet taller than Mont Blanc? Yes, it does. And the globe model would appear valid when you only consider curvature drop, and that's where the globe shill will want you to stop. But that is only halfway. So now let's figure in the angular size reduction. And I must reiterate, an angular size computation is without question a 100% necessity. Objects get apparently smaller with distance. That is a fact. We are going to include the angular size reduction by calculating a new angular size for the curvature adjusted and now shorter Mont Blanc. Meaning the Mont Blanc that shrunk to 10,337 feet due to the alleged curvature drop. The adjusted height of Mont Blanc, if 15,777 feet minus 5,440 feet, which equals 10,337 feet. According to the angular size calculator, the adjusted angular size of Mont Blanc is now 0 0.91942 degrees. Now let's compare the adjusted Mont Blanc angular size with the additional curvature drop with Grand Tourneline. Under the globe model, Mont Blanc should appear 63% the height of Grand Tourneline. 63% unequivocally, and of course the liars will lie in the comments, Mont Blanc is not 63% the height of Grand Tourneline in the photo. They are almost the same size, but Grand Tourneline is slightly taller. Do you see how the Earth's curvature does not exist, but is simply angular size and perspective? Do you see how they trick the world? This photograph is impossible under the globe model. The globe faithful may counter that this was only caused by refraction, but ask yourself, would refraction seriously be able to accomplish this feat and remove just the curvature in the right amount to match the angular size calculation on a flat Earth? That is utter nonsense. Globe debunked.